The well-known app for sharing short videos, TikTok, which has been accused of being pro-Chinese, is again under heavy scrutiny. The American media attention is once again focused on TikTok due to allegations that the well-known video app encourages youth to support Hamas and the Palestinian people. Retaliating the calls for a ban on TikTok, prominent politicians such as Senators Josh Hawley, Marco Rubio and House Representatives Mark Gallagher have pointed to the app's perpetrated bias in support of anti-Israel and anti-Jewish content in recent weeks. Due to the criticism over the prevalence of pro-Palestinian content, TikTok's influence has returned to the public eye since the start of Israel-Hamas conflict. Last month, American venture capitalist Jeff Morris Jr. claimed in a lengthy series of posts on X that the app's algorithm was corrupting the youth by causing them to deviate from the majority of Americans' pro-Israel viewpoint. Mr. Morris claimed that the hashtag Stand with Palestine received 3 billion views as opposed to 200 million for Stand with Israel, which only exacerbates TikTok's own bias. Holly makes similar calls. He cited a recent Howard Capps Harris poll which found that in contrast to older Americans who overwhelmingly support Israel, 51% of Americans between the age 18 and 24 believe that Palestinian grievances could justify Hamas's October 7 attacks on Israel. However, one must remember that the efforts to ban TikTok are not noble. US lawmakers have often accused the app of promoting either Beijing's agenda, notably regarding Taiwan and Uyghur repression, or labeling it as now as a sponsor of terror. Countless proposed bills by the Democrats and Republicans seeking TikTok restrictions have faced obstacles due to the free speech concerns, leading to stalled initiatives. Even this time, the outcome could be undoubtedly same. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.